Hi everyone, um, I thought that I would do um, a little video just showing you my favourite clothes. You never really see me from like the neck down, so this is maybe going to be a bit strange. Um, I probably don't look like how you think I look. I think like most mums, um, you end up spending most of your money making your kids look cute and you forget to spend time on yourself. It's only really in the last... Um, Maybe in the last six months that I've actually started buying some clothes. A lot of the clothes that I'm going to show you are things that I've had in my wardrobe for ages, but I can just fit back into them again because I've lost a little bit of weight. Um, so I'll start with this. Some of it's old, some of it's new. Um, this jacket is from, it's actually Paul Smith, so it's a really, really expensive jacket. I actually paid five pounds for it because I got it from a shop that sells um, stock that hasn't sold from designer stores so um, I think maybe the ladies didn't realise how much it actually was I think it was like a 400 quid jacket or something and I paid 5 quid for it I'm quite lucky like that, I really am really careful about what I spend my money on so I wear this jacket a lot, I love it to pieces um, and I've worn it, well, a lot put it, put it like that, I've had it for quite a few years um, and then this scarf I got in the sale from ASOS it was 40 quid, but I paid 20 for it. Um, this top, which I've had a long time and has got a lot of holes in it now, but I love because it's a really good shape, um, even though I've got the wrong bra on it, if you can see in the mirror. Oh, whoops. Um, this top is from uh, Sonia Raikal. I paid five quid for it from eBay. It had some horrible braces things attached, which I cut off. Um, because I know that the Sonia Raikel uh, material is really, really good and it is, it's fantastic. So it holds you in just a bit, you know, so it makes you appear like a much better shape than you are. My jeans, I love. These are from Levi's. Um, I got these in the sale as well. Um, in fact, everything I buy is in the sale. I never buy anything full price. Um, these jeans, I think, were half price and I paid 40 quid for them or 37.50 or something. I don't know what ones they are, but they are fantastic. I, I can do them up now. <laughs> when I bought them, I actually was in pain. I don't know if you've ever worn such tight jeans that they, are, they feel like they're digging into your bones. That's not good. <laughs> um, but they're actually really comfy now, so I'm quite pleased about that. Um, they're really dark denim and they're Levi's, and I'll put in the description box which ones they are because I don't know. Um, my boots are my latest acquisition. I got these from, I got them this week. My mum and Tanya and I went shopping. We went to House of Fraser. Kurt Geiger and Carvella had a sale on. And these I got for, they were 160 quid, and I paid 14 pounds for them. Because um, they're a couple of seasons old, which makes no difference to me at all, I couldn't care less. I don't fit into the fashions anyway. I'm too busty and hippie to actually follow any of the kind of fashions. So I just wear what suits me, really. And um, these, these were reduced to £39 and then I had forgotten that in my purse I had a £25 gift voucher that my brother Jim bought for me um, for Christmas. So I got another 25 quid off, so they cost me £14. What a bargain. Um, you'll have to bear with me because nothing ever fits across my bust. So while I'm slimming, I will get there eventually and this top will not be quite so strained. Um, this shirt... Um, I got for 45 quid. It's Paul Smith and it was half price in the sale. Um, you know, the thing with buying clothes that are from last season is if you're just buying classic items, you know, classic pieces, it doesn't really matter if it's last season's or what, really, does it? Um, these trousers were free because they belonged to my mum and I think they were too big for her because she's really skinny. Um, and so I inherited them. They are Alexander McQueen and she got them in the sale, funnily enough. Um, I think they cost her about, I think they might have been about 60 quid or possibly even 70, so they were quite expensive. Um, so they probably were about 160 or something beforehand. But they're really nice and this is the first time I've ever actually got them on. So, you know, we're getting there. This, this belt is from New Look. Um, so really, really cheap, I think it's about five quid, um, and I've worn it so much, it's been so useful, obviously, a lot of people wear them under their boobs, I can't wear belts under my boobs, it's just like, that's just crazy, we don't need to draw any more attention there. Eventually, this outfit will be comfortable, a few more pounds, I think, and we'll get there. Next, 
I guess this one is where you have to pretend I haven't got a whacking great big bruise on the back of my leg and um, really, really the whitest legs ever. Um, this is a dress that I got recently from ASOS. This is the smallest size 14 I have ever bought, but I kept it thinking I will get the zip done up. Um, and I have just got the zip done up, but it's only just. Um, this dress I think was about 25 quid, it wasn't expensive. Oh, and the shoes, which I absolutely adore, these were also from ASOS. They were um, 60 quid actually, if I remember correctly, and I've had them quite, quite some time. Um, occasionally I wear them all if I go out with Nick on like a girls' night out, but apart from that, never because I'm about six foot four in them, and it's just it's a bit intimidating to be honest, and I can't really walk in them very well, so <laughs> where's the fun in that? Okay, next. This dress I have had since. Um, I've had it for about, I don't know, like five years or something. It wasn't expensive, it was £45 and I bought it from Dorothy Perkins and it was one of the, it was when the Roland Murray Galaxy dress was massive. Um, I think it was the Galaxy dress. And so this was just one of those high street rip-offs. But I really liked it. I hardly ever wear red and um, I wore it to one of my friend's birthday parties, if I remember correctly. And I haven't worn it since because I haven't been able to get into it since. So. But maybe, just maybe, I'll find another another place to wear it, who knows. And lastly, I bought this shirt the other day, same day that I bought my boots. Um, it's from Inwear, and I got it for 40 quid, it was 80 quid. Um, and yeah, I really like it, I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it, especially because we're going to a festival in a couple of weeks. Um, and it's that kind of really light fabric, but I always like something with a tiny bit of sparkle because I don't know why, I just do. I like it. Um, yeah, I can't be bothered to try any more clothes on, guys. Um, so I'll do this as a two part. Um, in the next part, I don't know what I'll show you. I'll find some other boring outfits to show you. Um, anyway, these ones are my current favourites, and um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.